What's going on YouTube? This is your boy Tata Collector. This is episode 11 of live DVD and Blu-ray hunting. I know I've been gone from this series for a couple of weeks, but I am back. As you can see behind me, I've got a new media wall put up. I'll go over that towards the end of the video, but for now, you ready to go find some movies? Let's go! Okay, folks, so this is it. This is the entire haul for the past few weeks. I have not been able to find much uh, tapping into my local sources where I normally find all of my movies. And um, I have pretty much sourced them out. I've gone through all of their uh, back stock, 
pretty much all of their back stock. They do have some uh, stuff that they would not allow me to go through. They are sending it off to different locations. Um, but a lot of the times I go in there and ask them if they'll pull stuff and, and a lot of the times they do. But, so this is pretty much it that's being added into the collection. Aside from one movie in this stack, and this stack was the the stack that was worth some money. But what we got on the back row are some horror movies. Aside from Ghostbusters, I guess you could kind of throw that into the supernatural horror genre. A lot of people gave this a bad rap, uh, but I thoroughly enjoyed this version. I thought it was very well done for what it was. And uh, if you haven't uh, heard, the original cast of the original Ghostbusters has confirmed a third movie, uh, aside from Harold Ramis, uh, because he has passed away. But Bill Murray, Sigourney Weaver, um, Dan Aykroyd, they're all on board for another Ghostbusters movie. Very excited about that. Got the Wishmaster series, Repo, the Genetic Opera. Uh, very happy to find all of the Ninja Turtles movies. Now, these two I have digitally. I believe they're um, downloaded onto my PlayStation 4. And I have all of these on Blu-ray. But it was nice to, uh, nice to find this version of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie collection. And this includes 1, 2, and 3, and then the animation movie. Um, the animation movie, I believe, was kind of like in the style of Nickelodeon. So very cool there. Found all four Superman movies on the four film, four film favorites. And then the Home Alone collection. This includes all four Home Alones. And I paid like a dollar for that, or 50 cents. But um, yeah, you got Home Alone, Home Alone 2, Lost in New York, Home Alone 3, and then Home Alone, Taken, Taken Back the House. Three and the fourth one were not done by, uh, oh, what's his name, Macaulay Culkin. Then we got some horror Blu-rays, the autopsy of the autopsy of Jane Doe. This was creepy. Uh, this was very well done. I thought I thought this was very well done. I enjoyed that one. Insidious: The Last Key was not my favorite out of the series. Um, I, I just I was not impressed by it. I was never scared. I, it was there were never any jump scares that got me. But it is what it is. It's going into the collection. Joshua and Torture Garden. I have not watched these yet, but both of these are horror. And um, so I'm adding those into the collection. And then we got Man of Steel here. And anytime I can find superhero uh, related movies on Blu-ray, I add those into the collection. I do already own this digitally. All right, now onto the stack of movies that are worth some money. This is going into the collection. This is the Critters Collection, and this goes anywhere between 15 to 20 bucks on eBay. All four Critters movies, this uh, collection is out of print. So if you can find that and pick it up for cheap, definitely do it. You can, uh, you can make a little bit of money on it. Another one that is out of print is Rodney Dangerfield Easy Money. This goes for about uh, 10 to 15 bucks. So if you can find that on the cheap, you can flip it easy. In Cold Blood goes for around $10 on eBay. Out of the blue, uh, the same around $10 to $12. And then one that I was surprised about that I'd never heard of is Tripping the Rift, the movie. So apparently this is a uh, adult-themed series. And the series on DVD goes for some really good money. So if you can find uh, Tripping the Rift seasons um, on blue or excuse me on DVD, pick them up, especially if you can get them cheap. Now the movie is out of print; it is an Anchor Bay title, and um, this sells anywhere between fifteen to twenty bucks. So very happy to find that. But that's it, folks. That is all I have found uh, in the past few weeks. Now I'm going to show you the media wall that I built. So stay tuned for that. Here we go. Okay, folks, so this is the new media wall. Very, very stupid simple to build this. And it is very cost effective as well. 
Um, all you will need are a couple of two by fours cut to length of your preference and um, some one by twos. As you can see, they're, they're pretty thin. There's no shelf back here. And uh, the movies just sit flush against the wall when you mount these. So what you're going to want to do is find your studs in the wall and then just mount accordingly. So I've got an L bracket there and another one up there. And same thing with that 2x4 going down right there. And then just measure um, the distance for your 1x2s. And when you are drilling these in, you're going to want to drill pilot holes first. If you don't drill pilot holes and you just drill the, the screw straight in, these 1x2s will split. And um, other than that, it does need a little bit of tweaking. Um, I need to put some support braces underneath these 1x2s because with the length that I have, have them cut at, they are drooping a little bit in sagging, you know, a little bit in the middle just due to the weight of the DVDs. Um, but not too bad. I uh, could probably get away with it for now. So, uh, as you saw in the video, I had all of these behind me. So I had to actually stand up on a chair just to get this as a backdrop. I went ahead and went as far, uh, as far up to the ceiling as I possibly could. Um, so I would just have a, enough storage space uh, and enough room to sit here and add on. So I've got uh, all of my Blu-rays from here um, down to here with what I'll be uh, adding into uh, the collection from this episode. And then everything else are DVDs. Um, just we got a lot of horror up here. Pretty much the entire top row is horror, and it extends down to about uh, right here. So I've added in the past several weeks quite a bit of horror to the collection, and I really just started collecting media uh, since I started this channel. Um, I came to the you know realization that there is money to be made in movies so if you can find movies on the cheap that are out of print and that sell well then you can use that to your advantage as far as being able to add video games into your collection for free so if I pay ten dollars for a PlayStation 4 game and a dollar for a movie that sells for twenty dollars well then I can sell that movie and put that uh, video game into my collection for free. So that was the whole basis behind uh, this entire series. And along the way, I get to add some really cool movies into the collection and just, uh, you know, find some really, some really awesome deals along the way. But there it is. It's a stupid simple media wall. You can actually do this for your video games as well if you are needing to uh, conserve space. Um, preserve space uh, this is literally five inches off the wall so you don't need a lot of space there and your uh, your video games your movies your dvds they just they sit nice up on that one by two but there it is folks if you've enjoyed the content go ahead and leave that thumbs up if you have not subscribed yet go ahead and hit that subscribe button while you're at it go ahead and hit the bell icon when you do you're going to receive notifications every single time i upload new content all right, folks, I hope you're having a fantastic week so far. I know I am. I'm Tata Collector, and have a good one.